Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to look at the harbor process. Okay, the harbor process. And this is just a flow diagram. We're going to learn about uh, how to manufacture ammonia, how it's manufactured uh, at an industrial scale. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, several things. We're going to first cover what ammonia is, how to identify it. Uh, we're going also going to look into the brief, brief history of the harbor process and um, also uh, the equation as well as the conditions for for the reaction okay so this this is a, a very popular topic it's, it's very co popular with zimsec uh, combined science it's also very popular with um, cambridge as well as chemistry okay so without further ado let's just uh, jump into it so a harbor process this is how you spell it so there is no there's no r here okay between a and um, so it's called harbor process so the Harbour process was named after after a man. His name was Fitzharbour. Okay, so Fitzharbour. Fitzharbour, he was he was a Jew. Uh, he was a Jew staying in in Germany. So the uh, Nazi regime they were, they wanted to come up with a gas that they could use in concentration camps. Uh, remember the Holocaust. Yeah. So they would put uh, people in uh, gas chambers and they would gas them. So Fitzhaber was uh, one of the scientists who were working on uh, gases that could be purposed for that use. And uh, interestingly, they, they ended up bumping into uh, this harbor process to manufacture ammonia. Okay, so th this was really a big deal. He actually got uh, a Nobel Peace Prize for it. So he actually got a Nobel Peace Prize. This is, this is very prestigious. If you get a Nobel, uh, especially in the sciences, even in the humanities, uh, any Nobel, it's, it's really, really, really a big deal, okay? Very few people across the world uh, uh, get this. So the reason you actually won a Nobel Peace Prize was that ammonia was fixing um, a problem. There's uh, something called nitrogen fixing. Uh, don't worry, we were going to uh, get out of the woods soon. But then uh, essentially nitrogen, so my spelling again. So essentially nitrogen fixing um, is uh, the, the process of checking nitrogen from the from the atmosphere so from the atmosphere into into the soil okay so traditionally uh we couldn't do this so they, they, they were there were some plants there are some plants some aquatic and some land plants that that can do this they can do nitrogen fixing they can take nitrogen from the from the atmosphere and then they can fix into the uh, through various uh, chemical processes but then the problem now is that you can do it uh, at scale to actually feed the whole population so there was this discussion of uh, you know the whole population was growing and uh, at the rate at which uh, nitrogen was um, taken out of the soil it was kind of uh, process prohibitive for for them to actually scale in terms of their farming and everything so nitrogen uh, so the ammonia the production of ammonia it fixes this because ammonia you can purpose it for fertilizers and all that and uh, this process kind of was revolutionary in that it kind of helped our food security across the world okay so this was a very big deal and that's why Fitzharbour won a Nobel Peace Prize so the the first thing that we want to talk about here is uh, into the details now is ammonia ammonia what is it exactly so at room temperature ammonia it's a, it's a we, we say ammonia it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a molecule okay it's a, it's a molecule and the molecule if you're doing chemistry uh, even when you're doing combined science you have to know it's nh3 okay n for nitrogen and then h4 for hydrogen okay so uh, this simply means that in each um this simply means that in each ammonia molecule this one is called a molecule just because it comprises of elements chemically bonded together and the the bonding here it's it's covalent okay if you're doing uh chemistry but essentially this this is a molecule and this molecule comprises nitrogen and hydrogen these are elements these are the basic stuff that we we use to uh, build matter okay so you find them uh, in the periodic table this two so ammonia here it's um it's it's a it's a the the smell of ammonia it smells like urine so ammonia smells like urine if you go to any uh plant or any industry where they are dealing with ammonia you just it's just, it's just pungent we, we describe that smell as uh, is pungent so we say that ammonia is a 
is a pungent gas okay so it's a uh, it's a pungent gases and it smells really 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 awful and uh, it's also highly corrosive so these are these are called uh, chemical properties of, of ammonia so it's also highly corrosive corrosive it means that um, um, it eats into matter uh, very easily so if you run uh, let's say ammonia through certain materials uh, ammonia can actually eat into those materials such that the materials deteriorate so it's called corrosion so it's highly corrosive um, uh, and, and then the the uh, other part is that it's alkaline so alkaline it simply means that it's a, it's a base uh, the opposite of acids okay so it's it's a it's a it's an alkaline as in it's a, it's a base it's basic in nature uh, as opposed to uh, acidic nature okay so and then it's also a colorless gas this is what you what you would um, call the physical properties okay so chem chemistry uh, what we do is it's it's hard for us sometimes to identify uh, certain you you can't actually see the molecules so you have to uh, have these clues if there's somebody described to, described, described to you and says uh, i have a pungent gas it's highly corrosive it's alkaline it's colorless there's a chance that it's it's ammonia so you you're supposed to know those uh, these properties and uh, we covered the the brief history where we talked about uh, fitz harbor and also the the, the story of um, how the, the our ammonia was discovered so this was a very big deal now let's let's move to the chemical reaction okay so this is the chemical reaction of of ammonia so this n2 here it's uh, it's nitrogen gas okay so nitrogen gas so this N2 here, it's uh, the molecule of nitrogen. It exists as, uh, as um, you know, two uh, nitrogen atoms bonded together. And this bonding, it's, it's actually a triple bond here. So triple bond, uh, this triple bond, it's very strong. And that's why uh, I told you earlier on that there was a problem with fixing nitrogen back into the, into the soil. Sometimes you actually have to rely on lightning, um, you know, separating this violently. So that the nitrogen can be can be can be fixed into into the soil, okay. But uh, ammonia, the production in harbor process, it kind of solved that. So this is the this is uh, nitrogen gas. It's it's very stable and uh, it's it's very the bonding bag. It's, it's very strong. It's a triple bond. Uh, and then hydrogen gas plus uh, the nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas. Okay, so this is hydrogen hydrogen gas H two. So you might remember hydrogen from from uh, water. Water is H two O. You also have uh, two hydrogen atoms for for every molecule there. So the, in this case, you you have nitrogen. We need uh, hydrogen. We need exists. It exists as H two. They actually have to bond together the the hydrogen atoms so that they can they can achieve what we what we call octate. Okay, so it'd be like this, so that they can achieve what we call octate. So hydrogen. Uh, this this one is the first. Uh, shell so the hydrogen needs needs two electrons that's the first shell the first shell needs two electrons to actually fill up so hydrogen and um, uh, another hydrogen atom they can share one electron and one electron and thereby they are stable okay so this is essentially what happens so here we have a nitrogen gas uh, reacting with hydrogen gas and then this this one here the the, the this arrow type it uh, shows that this is a reversible reaction okay so this one it indicates that this is a reversible reaction so reversible reaction uh it doesn't mean that the reaction can be reversed it actually means that uh, the reaction as it happens the reverse reaction is also happening so this reaction it's actually going in two directions it's going forward and it's also going backwards okay so this this is uh, a problem you have nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas forming ammonia here but ammonia is also breaking down again to form nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas this this informs um, the conditions that we need for us to yield uh, more ammonia okay which we'll discuss in a, in a, in a chemistry uh, setting uh, in a later video but for combined science you're supposed to know that the ratio by a number of moles there's something called the law of definite proportions okay so definite proportions and um, in, in chemistry we, we don't really care that much at least not directly about uh, the masses of, uh, of the of the reactants and the products uh, they don't really govern uh, the, the our reaction okay so 
uh, what we care about is the number of moles we, we call the the number of moles here this is what we care about the number of moles is essentially a, a, you can think of it as a, as a specific number okay so uh, in the same sense that we say a dozen a dozen of uh, loaves of bread you, you can you can also have a more of of substances okay so uh, just in passing a more of substances it's uh, equal to six times ten to the power 23 okay this is this is rounded up so it's equal to six times times ten to the power 23 this is a more of of substances so you can have a more of pass would have the same number so essentially in physical chemistry we are concerned with uh, the specific number of of the gas molecules here uh, and here what it means is that one molecule of uh, nitrogen combines with uh, three molecules of, of hydrogen to produce two molecules of of ammonia this is essentially what it means and you can also say one more of nitrogen combines with three moles of hydrogen in, uh, to form two moles of of ammonia what you're supposed to commit to mind here is the ratio of the reactants okay so ratio of the reactants this is um this is important the reactants by the way we are, we, we simply mean the stuff that, that that's the that, that uh, the, the the stuff that's reacting so we 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 mean the the stuff on the left hand side of our our equation those are called the reactants and then as opposed to this uh, on the right hand side they're called the products for this one you can say is the product for the for the forward reaction okay so this one is called the forward and uh, this other one is called the reverse reaction okay don't don't get lost into into the woods too much here you're supposed to know the ratio of the of the reactants we say that nitrogen mixes with hydrogen uh, it, it, in the ratio one is to three okay so let me actually write that in the ratio one is to three and you can say the ratio by number of moles okay this is the ratio by number of moles and um so uh, th this is what you're supposed to uh here this this were just uh, uh illustrations and also to make you understand but the most important thing what's usually tested is the ratio of the reactants you have to know 